if you want to see one of the best three finger claw huds especially for phone you do want to stick around for this video after the intro How's it going? Welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. As you might have seen by the title and the thumbnail of this video, I'll be showing you guys one of the best three finger claw hoods for phone that you can now use. Now some people might be a bit confused that I'm now doing a three finger claw hood because I have been using four finger for a while now. I even made two videos on the four finger claw hood. In my opinion, I wouldn't say that the three finger or four finger claw is better because both of them have pros and cons. So for the three finger claw, you will obviously aim a lot better and your movement will also be better but for a four finger claw, you will be able to do more things at once. So before I actually go ahead and show you this hood, I do want to say we are on the road to 2k subscribers as I see in every one of my videos. So if you are new here, be sure you go ahead. And hit that subscribe button and also leave a like on this video if we can get 70 likes that would be absolutely awesome and you do want to stick around until the end of this video because as soon as i finish showing you how to actually set this up i will be going ahead and showing you some hand cam gameplay of how to actually use this i also want to say that this works a lot better with gyroscope even though it's not really required but it will work a lot better better with it i will be linking my gyroscope video right here in the cards you should see it pop up right now and it should also be in the comments below so you can go ahead and check that out as soon as you finish and it also has my sensitivity right, as well so i actually have a lot of work to do so let me just get into this as quickly as possible so i'll try and clear up the right side of the screen first so what i'm gonna do is move the map put it at the center of the screen and we're gonna scale it down to about 96 to 94 or something like that then we're gonna just move some of these buttons so we can clear up here a bit so then we're gonna scale up the prone button and scale up the jump button also and as I always do with my four finger claws I normally put them down here so you can put them at the size that's comfortable for you and we just set it like that beside each other so then we're gonna scale down the operator scale button a bit and draw it there so that it doesn't take up a lot of the screen the next thing we're gonna go for is the what I don't know what this is called I think it's the the button where you switch the guns so we're gonna put that below the operator skill button and we're gonna turn down the opacity right now and the reason why I have this here is so that when I need to reload I can just pull out my pistol as soon as possible and I can easily win that gunfight so then we're gonna go to the score button we're gonna scale that down and also move that at, over to the left side of the screen so let me just put up this so then we're gonna deal with the mic and the speaker we're gonna, we always put that beside the map and then we're gonna put the UAV button right there where it normally was and beside that we're gonna put the settings and emote button let me just do like this because we don't really use those a lot in the game so they normally go down here we're gonna put the nade button right here beside the plant the bomb we actually plant the bomb and then beside that we're gonna put the cancel grenade and the quick ch quick ch throw I think it's that yeah I think it's a quick throw button or something like that so it is looking a bit clear already so let me just adjust the movement button and then we're gonna draw down the outer run a bit I don't really knife a lot in the game but the knife can actually stay right here and then we're gonna scale up both the um, ADS button and the scope in and we're gonna put them right beside each other like this and a lot of people might be confused about this but you will see how I use it in the video and it is really effective guys under the scoping button you're gonna put the reload and 
under the ADS button, you're gonna put the hip fire. Scale on the hip fire to about 60 and put it below the ADS. And this is cool. Let me just move some of these stuff right here so they don't confuse us. So we're gonna do it like that. And then the so but right, so let me just hide the auto run button and this is basically it guys this is it wait let me move the nade button this is basically it that is it guys so be sure you stay tuned now i'm actually going to be showing you the hand cam of how i actually use this and a lot of people might be a bit surprised about why i would put the scope in button beside the ads button and you will see why i did that right now most of the best phone players actually do put their aim button beside their ADS so you'll see right. why. So now I'm actually going to show you how to do all these small and large details with this HUD. So let me just go into a AI game so I have more time and no one is trying to kill me or anything like that so I can actually show you guys a lot easier. So here we go this is on Crash which is a pretty large map so I should be able to show you a lot easier so firstly let me select the type 25 and also this hud is very easy for controlling recoil if you are using gyroscope as i said gyroscope will be in the card that will be above so you can go ahead and click on that video and watch it as well firstly guys this is just like the normal movement as you can see right here uh, i just swipe between the where i put the guns and my like prone and jump button right there I always check around the corners so that is why I have the scope in button right there so I can check around the corners a lot easier so when someone's directly in front of me I just go ahead and hit that ADS button when I'm not actually scoping around the corners and if they are very close to me then that is when we actually go ahead and use that hip fire button so all right so i actually died right there so i want to show you all the movement techniques that you can actually do with this and these are jump shot drop shot and strapping and how you actually can do them as well so this is just all right so this now that is the reason why i actually have that right there so as you can see i just ran out of bullets on the type 25 and it took like no effort for me to just go ahead and whip out that pistol right there and just finish off the job that is would be awesome if i'm actually in a real gun fight so this is actually how I drop shot so this is how you can easily drop shot with it. you can actually just swipe down on the drop shot button while you are still aiming but if you are using gyroscope this is why I say that this is much easier gyroscope and you can also jump shot as well as you can see I was just doing right there you can see that jump shot working good now let me try the strapping which is the easiest of them all 